Do you ever just have one of those days where you can't get your hair as you want it? It's just a bad hair day. It's a bad hair day. Hello! My name is Gareth and welcome to Fat Pigeon Reviews. Now today, we're taking a look at these. These are actually my own personal speakers that I actually use uh, in my house. So these are the Fine Audio F500s. I bought them from Audio Lounge Leicester. Uh, around the corner from me i'll leave a link if you want to check them out on the on their website um i've had them for about two months i've been running in and they're getting better and better with with the days going by and the more music i'm running through them now as you can see this is like a uh, it, this is an isa flare i'll put some pictures on this is an isa flare driver uh, and it has a titanium tweeter within the center there uh, and it also has like a little cone around it for some sort of sound dispersion, some sort of a waveguide type thing uh, in the centre. And this is a six inch, 150 millimetre uh, mid-range bass driver. Now it's got these little grooves, they're not just for jazziness, just to make them look good. They actually have a purpose as well. They actually have a way of, they disperse the sound correctly, as Fine Audio wanted it to, into the areas that, you know, they want it to go. So, well, around the speaker, I suppose. Um, but the clever thing and the nice thing about these is that I, I do like, because of my room positioning, is that at the bottom they've got something called bass tracks. Uh, and it's a down-firing diffuser system. I've got notes down here. Um, so, yeah, it, what it does is it fires... Again, I'll take some photos so you can actually see this whilst I'm talking. But there's a down-firing port in there. There's no port on the back. It's a sealed unit apart from this down-firing port in the centre of the bottom here. And it fires down over like a cone, um, like a shaped cone. So it disperses the base 360 degrees out this aluminium, these aluminium fins here. Now, because of that, I can actually get these up against my wall. I mean, I'm about eight inches away, six to eight inches. Now, they're actually quite, they're 7.3 kilograms. They're a weighty speaker. Be again, because of the base here, these fins are made out of aluminium. Um, and it puts a bit of weight, obviously there's a lot more stuff going on inside, but as a speaker, as a, you know, I don't know if this is average or not, but this is 7.3 kilos, they're quite weighty, um, which I like, it sturdies them up. Uh, and on the back, again, I'll, I'll let me just spin them around for you. On the back, we do have your binding posts here, and you have four of them, so your high frequency, your low frequency, so you can buy wire these, or you can buy amp them. They have the metal bridges here, uh, at some point, I am actually going to put some speaker cable in between. I, th I think that's one of the weaker spots, maybe, on um, sound quality. Uh, so I, I like to put a link of some decent speaker cable from there to there. And then it frees up. I mean, I'll unscrew these and I'll put them in. And then it frees up so I can still put my banana plugs into the actual holes here. Um, but a very sleek, nice design. Very well made. Nice plate on here for the actual binding posts. And they're, they're actually metal uh, with a plastic outer casing, outer coating. Um, so you can't scratch the metal, uh, and I think for sound absorption or it's like a isolation-y type thing, so for the vibrations, I think that's why they put the plastic on there. Maybe. Um, I'll have a look, I'll Google it. So yeah, these are actually my own. Um, and sound quality-wise, they are... They've got like a special place in my heart. Now, I'm not going to be biased with these for the speakers in the future, because I have got... Uh, another review coming up tomorrow um, for some Golden Ear uh, BRX speakers with the ribbon tweeters. Uh, I've been listening to those over the weekend and I've also got a review coming up on the Blue Sound Blue Sound Node uh, streamer. So yeah, subscribe, click a click, tap tap uh, if you want to see those videos. Um, like I say, I'll be po posting those within the next few days. Uh, so hopefully after you watch this video, you can go straight onto those. They're rated to 89 decibels. So not too hard to power. I mean, I've got a, a little tube amplifier. I've actually done a video on that um, as well. So if you want to check that out, check that out and so you know what amp I'm talking about. It's only about £160, £170 on Amazon, but it absolutely runs these absolutely fine. It's 160 watts per channel, so 320 watts, and it does a great job. I mean, with a better amplifier, obviously I can get more out of them, but I'm going to work my way to a better amplifier. Um, so I need to, well, save up, as it were. I mean, I'm not getting paid for any of this. No one pays me to do this. Um, even with the other stuff from Audio Lounge, they don't actually pay me for that. But it, we're helping each other out. So they give me stuff and they get their name out there on YouTube. So, 
Fine Audio F500 specifications. Like I say, 45 hertz to 34,000 hertz. So they, can, they they are lovely, lovely on the on the highs on the higher frequencies. They are clean. They are clear. They are crisp. Um, the bass is the lower frequency bass is okay. I mean, down to 34 hertz. Sorry, 45 hertz. Down to the 45 hertz. It's not the lowest of bass. But it's a control bass and it's a nice bass. It doesn't like roll off too much. It doesn't like fill your room with the bass. It's more controlled. It's more of a tighter bass. And I, I like that. I'm not a massive bass fan anyway. Um, anymore, should I say. I like the sort of the guitar strings. I like the vocals. I like the mid-range. Uh, I'm a big fan of mid-range. So and vocals on these, they, they, they sing. They're warm. They've, they've got... So you can hear the reverberation in the throat with the, I've got a few tracks on the, there's a track that I do, These Bones it's called, with the acapella group. Um, and the deep voices, and you can hear the reverberation through his throat. Uh, they're just a very nice, clean, tight, controlled bass type of a speaker. Again, with the room placement, I've tried them outside the wall and it's a little bit better, a little bit more spacious. Uh, the, the sound's a bit area. Um, but, unfortunately... I can't have a pair of speakers sitting two foot from the wall because I have a wife and she would go absolutely mad. Um, love you. I used to go to eBay for my speakers. I used to buy up speakers that were in my price range. I'd buy some for £70 and £100 and £120. You know, you get it, you get it. So various price ranges. Depending on what sort of money I had that month or whatever else because I used to buy speakers a lot. Um, now, I bought some Mission, I think they were Mission 761i's, dual 5-inch drivers, tweeter in the centre. I bought some Jammo, or Yammo, Jammo, um, Classic 4's, which again, had the 5 and a quarter inch drivers. And the, uh, I went through a phase of getting dual drivers uh, and tweeter in the centre. I had some Monitor Audio, Monitor 3's, floor standards, which again, I thought were fantastic. Um, Mission 701's, I had some 601's from B&W, I've had some... Tannoy's 609s, I've had Tannoy Jupiters, um, two big 8-inch drivers, tweeter in the middle. They were fantastic, they were the ones to beat for a very long time. But with the room scale and the room size and that sort of thing, as soon, soon as we moved house, this is a smaller lounge, and I've put in, I put in the Jamos. I've had them here for a year, I've had them at home for, you know, sorry, at home, I live here now, this is my home. Um, I had them at my old house, and I had them for about two years, and I was absolutely happy with them. Um, which was great. I mean, I had a, a knob sound, little amplifier, cost me £60 from Amazon, and I was over the moon with it. Brilliant. And I sat there for years just listening to these speakers, and I like vinyl. I had an old Sony 1992 turntable. And again, that was I was absolutely happy with that, which was great. But then one day when we moved here, I just had this, I had this voice in my head saying, get rid of the speaker. It turns out it was my wife saying, get rid of the these speakers. Get rid of the speakers. There's too many. You don't need this many. So I did. And that changed everything. So I got the money in for... It was the best decision I made. Um, and it was a good decision because what I did is I pulled all the money together and I thought instead of having seven or eight different types of speakers that you can only listen to one pair at a time, I'll pull my money together and I'll get some one set of good speakers. And I did a lot of research on YouTube, backwards and forwards, and within my price point, these were getting rave reviews. Um, and I went and listened to them at Audio Lounge, Leicester, and they, they actually do home demos. So they actually did a home demo for me. They brought these speakers out for me, because they're the ones I was interested in, and they set them up and put them in the lounge so they could see. I mean, a lot of speakers sound great in the, in the shop um, with all the sound treatment and everything. Everything's going to sound great. That's what it's designed to do. That's what their room is for. But so they come out, they test the you know they test the speakers for you. They set them up and they leave you for an hour or two just to test them and gather play and move them around in the lounge. And on doing so, I fell in love with these. Fantastic, loved them. But these were the ones. These were priced, but these were I think eight hundred forty nine pounds. These cost me. Um, and sound quality wise, like I say, they are worth eight hundred fifty pounds. One hundred percent. Um, if you've got 850, they're worth looking at. 
Now the big brothers of these, the Fine Audio F501s, the floor standers, they actually won the Watt Hi-Fi Award in 2018 for best floor stander, I think, between 1,000 and 1,500 pounds. And obviously this is the same technology, exactly the same speaker, just with the, only the one driver. The, the, the 501s have actually got a, a base driver as well, a separate base driver. Um, you know, they're in white as well. You can get them in, I mean, you can get these in four colors. You get them in, hang on one second, let me just, uh, black oak, dark oak, the gloss white, and the gloss black. And obviously, as you can see, I've got them in the black. So the imaging is good. The center imaging is good. Um, I've, I've heard better for center imaging. Now I've had to position them, I had to toe them in just slightly on these ones to get that center image. So the, the, the female that was singing or the guitar player that's playing was dead center of my room. Um, and it is there and it's absolutely fine. I mean, you can tell it's there. It's not precision, it's not pinpoint, but it's good and it's good enough. And again, for the price point, I was quite happy with it. They actually, on some EDM tracks, they, this, the sound stage is, is higher, image is higher, and you can hear certain things in the corners of the rooms and things like that. And they come out a little bit wider than the actual speaker. So the sound comes out to about here. So it gives you a wider sound stage. Um, than the actual speakers themselves, which I thought was fantastic. And that's one of the reasons I actually bought these because they, they filled the room more. The whole front wall in theory on EDM tracks and stuff was just sound and good sound. The mid range for vocals, females, males um, on this acapella, the acapella track felt like I was just sitting in the room whilst they were recording the track. Um, it like brought you in to that recording studio. It, it sort of, put me into a like a mindset of you know just close your eyes and and, and you're there with them and you can sort of with the with this the image and you can say well he's sitting there and he's sitting there and there's a guy over here singing as well um, which was incredible again I've jumped from eBay speakers at 70 pounds 80 pounds and the jump from that to these was like your VHS DVD to Blu-ray. And like I say, that's, that is a big jump in, in quality and performance. Um, and like I say, with my wife, love her to bits, saying get rid of the speakers. And I think it's one of the best things, one of the best things, it's one of the best things that, um, that she could have said to me, because I wouldn't have, I like to buy, get speakers, I like to try different ones. And when I'm trying different ones, I'm, I haven't really got the money to try 1500 pound speakers and then put them in a cupboard. But I could with 70 pound ones, 100 pound ones. And I just kept hold of them because for decent, for certain tracks and certain things, I like different sort of sound. I like to have a variety of speakers for some reason for different sort of tracks. Now you don't want, you don't want a set of speakers for EDM. You don't want a set of speakers for classical. You don't want another set of speakers for this. I mean, some people do, then that's fine. That's, you know, I understand. I really do. Um, but then I thought it was time, get, just get one pair. And it was all my decision. Just get one pair. So like I say, with the, I keep rambling and going off on a tangent. With the mid range and vocals, um, like I say, that low bass freak with it, they're like pronounced, they're sort of in the room with you, um, which I've not had from speakers in the past. Yeah, the separation on these is fantastic. Um, you can actually pick out um, the notes, the, sorry, the different instruments. You know that there's a, you close your eyes, you know that there's a guitarist there and a bass guitarist over here and, and the singer's about here. Uh, you know that the drums are set back a little bit, um, and, the, and the separation, and the you can just tell. Uh, on one of the tracks that I tried, uh, it's a there's a guy strumming a guitar called My Bass, um, and there's sort of like a drum in the background, I think that's the track. But it sounded like the drums were a separate entity, they were a separate subwoofer, they weren't part of the speaker, so the separation from the bass was, let's put that down there. Uh, that's that section and, and then and then everything else was up here and it was great and again it, it, they were like separate the separation the separation it was just i'm excited they were a great speaker but yeah it was like a separate entity the bass was like down here and then it was separated from all the different instruments that were all over the place and, and within the imaging uh, and I'd, I'd not really heard that before from the speakers i've had in the past um but there were old speakers they were like mainly from the 90s the speakers that i used to buy so these, again, with the jump 
from VHS to Blu-ray in theory, the quality difference, man, the detail that these can pick out of a track. I mean, I love vinyl, um, and the vinyl um, is just got depth to it, the warmth. It's got, when someone's strumming on a guitar, you can feel the guitar sort of vibrating, and you get the depth to it. Not bass as such, but more of a depth to what it should be. It's not just thin and twangy. Um, same with saxophones. The saxophones are throaty and airy and they just it just comes across like there's a guy playing a saxophone in your lounge which was yes it was it was a shock again that's why i just said yeah i'll take them immediately i mean they could have probably bought in a range of different speakers um of this sort of price and i would have loved them all because of the price difference and the and the quality difference what i recommend is like i said i'm going to leave a link down below because uh i know i mentioned um audio lounge a few times now in the video but with them coming out the, the sound demo side of it is great i don't know other, other companies that actually do that at the moment um not especially not around here in leicestershire but the fact that you can place them and put them where you want and actually have a listen to them and see what they sound like in your room it's a great thing and that's what sold me on the speakers really because i could actually physically hear them in my own lounge now i've got a project um rpm one turntable uh if you i've got another video of it I'll put it at the end of this one if you want to check it out uh, with an acrylic acrylic hit um, new platter and a 2M uh, blue stylus. Um, and that with those upgrades, I've actually got some sound deadening, sound dampening feet for it as well, which I don't know if it's psychological, but it sort of smooths it out. But I want to do a review on those as well, the little soundproof and sound deadening feet. Um, sound absorption feet. Yes, that's what it is. So summarizing 849 pounds for the money they are absolutely spot on um i i don't get paid for this i'm not getting paid for this like i said before um i don't get any kickback there's nothing these are just my own personal speakers and i think i've made the right choice i've listened to quite a few and these were the ones that shone for me now they're from uh they should shine really because they're from the people that make these were actually originally from tannoy i think uh, five different guys left Tannoy and started up Fine Audio and they've done a fine job. They really have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop rambling, stop talking. I've actually got a bit of a sore throat at the moment as well. So this isn't the best job of the minute to just keep talking all the time. Then I'm going to put a sound test on for these. Now the microphone's not the best on the phone. Um, I've got a little plug-in thing. But I like to, when I research speakers, I do like to hear a sound test through headphones or if you've got, you know, monitors for your PC or whatever else. They're not going to sound the best on the phone, of course, uh, but they will sound good if you put your headphones on. And I'm going to play the same, I've got like, I think 11 tracks on a playlist, which is YouTube-friendly music, royalty-free music, uh, that I've got sort of pianos, I've got strings, I've got acoustic strings, I've got... A uh, bit of drums, I've got a bit of dance music, I've got a bit of rock music, and I've got a bit of vocals. So and what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to play that same, I think it's 11 tracks, 18 minutes long. So that same 18 minute playlist I'm going to put on these speakers. And then like I say, when I do the Golden Ear speakers in a couple of days, uh, I'll play the same playlist. So if you want to skip forward, backwards and compare the two, I think that's the easiest way of doing it. <laughs> I'm always thinking of you, you know, it's just who I am. <laughs> So I thought that would be an easier way for you to, yeah, just to te demo speakers, test some speakers. I know it's not the best idea, but the best way of listening to speakers, should I say. But I thought it's a start and you can get some sort of general gauge on sound quality and differences between speakers. So that's going to be another video. Uh, so let me let me wrap it up like I keep saying. Thank you so much for watching my review on the Fine Audio F500 stand mount speaker or bookshelf speaker. Stand mount bookshelf. This speaker in black. It's white, of course. And hopefully, I mean, like I said before, subscribe. Click, tap, Ooh, like. I would like that. I really would like that because it would um, allow me to do a lot more of these. Oh, I'm going to do it anyway. But no, subscribe. Subscribe uh, if you want to. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one.